Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing solving linear equations with one variable. So we're going to find now the values for the variable. So let's have our example. First example, letter A, x minus 5 is equal to 2. So we're going to find the value for x. Now, x, if we're going to use the addition property of equality, if we're going to add 5 here on the left side, so 2, we're going to add also plus 5 on the right side. Or your technique is just move negative 5 on the right. Don't forget to change the sign. So our x here is... 2 plus 5, 7. Take note of that. If you're going to move the number from left going to right, don't forget to change the sign. Letter B, 3x minus 24. Uh, 3x is equal to 24. So to find x, we can multiply the equation by 1 third or simply Divide the equation by 3 because we want the value for x only. So 3x divided by 3, that will give us 1x or, or simply x. Now we have 24 divided by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. So x is equal to 8. If we're going to check 3 times 8, that will give us 24. And in letter A, 7 minus 5, that is equal to 2. So our answers in A and B, if we're going to check, they are correct. Letter C, okay. We need to combine like terms. So we need to find the value for x. So we need to combine x. So copy 3x, the 5, on the 5x must be on the left side, so I will move it on the left side, but change the sign. It will become negative 5x. Again, 5x, positive 5x, is located on the right side of the equation. Going to the left will give us negative 5x. Copy 2. The negative 10, move it on the right, that will give us positive 10. Now, 3x minus 5x, that is negative 2x, is equal to 2 plus 10, that is 12. To find x, we need to divide by negative 2. The shortcut here, just divide on the number beside the letter or the coefficient. So, this will be equal to 1, or 1x, or simply x, is equal to 12 divided by negative 2, that is negative 6. Okay. So, x is negative 6. Let us check. 3 times negative 6 minus 10 is equal to 5 times negative 6 plus 2. They must be equal. 3 times negative 6, negative 18, minus 10 is equal to 5 times negative 6, negative 30 plus 2. Negative 18 minus 10, negative 28. Negative 30 plus 2, negative 28. So they are equal, means our answer for x is correct. Let us proceed in example number, uh, example letter D. Now let's have our fourth example. 2 quantity x plus 4 is equal to 2 quantity x minus 2. We're going to find the value for x. So we have a parenthesis. Let us remove the parenthesis. We need to distribute the number outside the parenthesis. So 2 times x. That is 
to x. 2 times x, that is 2x. 2 times positive 4, that is positive 8. Is equal to distribute 6. 6 times x, that is 6x. Six, 6 times negative 2, negative 12. We need to combine like terms. So x, so copy 2x, positive 6x, move on the left. So it will become negative 6x is equal to negative 12, the positive 8, move to the right. So that will become negative 8. Now 2x minus 6x, negative 4x is equal to negative 12 minus 8. Negative 20. We only need the value for x. So let us divide this by negative 4. So negative 4 divided by negative 4, that's positive 1. 1x one or simply x. Negative 20 divided by negative 4, that's positive 5. Negative divided by negative, positive. 20 divided by 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. You can check your answer by substituting the value of x to our original given. And for our fifth example, so we have 2x minus 3 over 6 is equal to x plus 4 over 2. So there are a lot of ways to solve this. First, we can cross multiply. Cross multiply, so that is equal to 2 times 2x minus 3. I put the equal sign, 6 multiplied the right side, 6 times x plus 4. Now, 2 times 2x, that is 4x. 2 times negative 3, negative 6. Is equal to 6 times x. That is 6x, 6 times positive 4, positive 24. Now we have 4x minus 6x is equal to 24 plus 6. Again, the positive 6, the left will become negative 6x. 24, the negative 6, move to the right, will become positive 6. Combine like terms, that is negative 2x is equal to 24 plus 6, this is 30. Divide both sides by negative 2, so x is equal to negative 15. The other way is, we can multiply the equation by 6. Okay? Multiply the equation by 6, get the LCD, and multiply it to the equation. 6. So 6 divided by 6, that is 1. 1 times 2x minus 3 is equal to 6 divided by 2, that is 3. 3 times x plus 4. Again, multiply it by the LCD, then divide to the denominator, that is equal to 1. Then the 1 multiply it in our numerator. Copy the equal sign, the LCD 6 divided by 2, we have 3. Multiply it to our numerator, x plus 4. Now distribute 1 times 2x, that is 2x. 1 times negative 3, negative 3. Is equal to 3 times x, that is 3x. 3 times positive 4, positive Combine like terms. So we have 2x, move to the left, minus 3x is equal to 12, negative 3, move to the right, positive 3. 2x minus 3x will give us negative x is equal to 12 plus 3, 15. We need the positive value for x. We need x only, so we need to multiply by negative. So negative times negative positive is equal to negative times positive 15 
negative view. Are they the same? Yes. Then if you want to check your answer, just substitute the value of x to of the original equation. Now you're ready to answer your modules. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. See you in our next lesson, the inequalities.